Parting Ways is a cemetery located in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Hidden in the woods, which was recently discovered by myself after a friend of mine, Mr. Eddie Johnson of New Bedford, Mass, returned from the Lee and Mayor March together, and he told me about the black revolutionary soldiers who were buried in the cemetery. So in the year 2000, we went up there, and the spirits were there. from the British were Africans, but yet no one knows their story. This is the Pot and Ways Posse. Let's bring it to our classrooms. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Val Almeida. <laughs> the Honorable Mayor Frederick M. Kalish, Jr. <laughs> His Excellency, the Honorable Jose Brito and his wife, Mrs. Brito. State representative from Plymouth, Massachusetts, and the first Republican Cape Verdean representative ever, Mr. Vinnie DiMatito. Vinnie, would you take the stage? <laughs> Counselor from Ward 4, Honorable Joseph Jojo Forts. And we will have featured speakers and guests. Those featured speakers and guests include a dear good friend, poet laureate and professor of UMass Dartmouth, Mr. Edward Hoagland. A person who will be bringing you reflections and a message, Mr. Wayne Ibn Musa Barbosa. We will now have the posting of the guard. Forward. March. We will now have the national anthem program where a dear friend of mine, a, a, a great friend of the late, great Manny Coster, and a friend of yours for many years, professor at UMass Dartmouth, uh, someone that I, along with Wayne Musa Barboza, Ross Grace, and a few others, who journeyed to the Million Man March and came back with the commitment. This is part of that commitment. As you notice, bridging history with community 
the theme of all of this is history. We now bring you Professor Everett Hogan to recite a poem called Parting Ways. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Ambassador, Mayor Kalis, uh, distinguished and honorable state and local representatives, ladies and gentlemen. You know, back in uh, 1776, many people of African heritage in New England went over to the British side because the British were very forthcoming with regard to freedom after the war. And people in Canada had had a very good record with regard to the Underground Railroad in its early stages. Many, many people of African ancestry went over to the British side. But in Plymouth, Massachusetts, there were four men who identified with the ideals of the revolutionary struggle toward a Republican democracy and for better or worse, invested and tossed their fate in that regard, in that direction. And they are buried at the Parting Way Cemetery. And I just think that it's appropriate before I read the poem that I wrote in the bicentennial year of 1976 to commend the shepherding of the Parting Ways Project by the pioneering Marge Anderson and the foresight, the commitment, and the dedication of Eddie Johnson, who has understood that that site and those bones are a core of a model history of an ongoing contribution by a people who have been, in many ways, the American the keepers of the promise of the ideal, beginning in those graves. And I think that before we go any further, we should commend Eddie Johnson for being so determined.